Yeah. Let's just stick with this for now. Cause I don't want to die again. Really close, level 20. <laughs> I am terrified because I still have not picked the loadout yet. So we're gonna go ahead and try with a musket and a great sword. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stick with dexterity. Oh, musket is a uh, skills of intelligence too. Interesting. Okay. We have to see where we have to go. Oh. That's right. Solve the mirror issue. Oh, hey. Did I do that? I don't remember. You go. How is it that you could love someone and yet living with them can slowly destroy you? This island didn't help. Oh, Fatima. I miss you so much. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. Be my pairs. I probably shouldn't have opened that. But I got a new hat. That adds constitution and focus. But it also... Uh, it's not at dexterity, which is unfortunate. I think it's pretty good. Stop the lost leaf. Oh, that's right. Should head over down to Scallywag Cove then, and that would be going this way. Yes. Going this way and then making a right at the fork. Oh. Let's see how well I can do this. Headshot gain in power. Ooh. Blending three headshots within five seconds of each other grants an instant reload. Okay, interesting. Call the sh shot. Increased musket damage by 5%. That size for more than three seconds. Greater accuracy. Accuracy penalty when hyper firing removed. Increased accuracy of any musket shot when inbound sight is maintained for 1.45 seconds. Okay. Call shot. Reaper supply. Basic attack headshots reduce all musket ability cooldowns by 10%. That would be kind of nice. I go with the reload. Okay. Whoa. That was close. What is that? A quest ready for him? Two? Oh, that's right. That's the Amusa. still not as fun and dynamic as using a ice gauntlet. I wonder if I can do this. Just 
I'm mostly in dexterity. I respect this down to. Oh no, I was intelligence. Oh, okay. Right, so that's 1 3, it's 2 14. That only gets it all the way up to 182. Much bigger up because it's going up higher. Hmm. change what I use. So if I go to rapier. I get these. I don't know if I've tried these. Right, and this one is pressing light attack of the animal flourish, fall up to finish. You can pose sense when you steer the five quick shots. Okay. And if I go back. Oh, he's Oh. You have two more? On guard. Deal 10% more damage when the target has greater than 50% health. Reduce all rapier cooldowns one percent Hit. Unearning. Deal 5% more damage to targets with a repair rapier bleed. Increase damage for both middle swing, swipe attacks, and a light attack chain. Let's go with the refreshing strike and on guard so let's also try taking ice gauntlet let's try respecting this into this quick game when you like quickly hit a target increase damage and basic attack percent targets with meters of player so we put this we get that we also get this okay and we get ice shower that'll work okay okay so we make it more of a defensive play switch so we have the ice gauntlet play defensively and we have the rapier then play offensively Blocking an, an attack with the Ice Colony will convert mana to stamina, convert stream mana to... Uh, no, we don't need that. Increased movement by 10% in Frosted Area, sure. Powered Frost, gain 6 mana for each attack performed in a Frosted Area. I'll take it. What does this do? Increased damage with Ice Pylon by 10% gets slow. Interesting. I'll get rid of this. Okay. Let's see what this does. Is that up wrong? Whoa! You're not fast. Alright, we're going. Wrong way. Should be this path. Oop, wrong one. How far does this go? Oh, not that far. Oop, I missed that. better.
like that. Very offensive. What if I try it with a Void Gauntlet? Hear me out. I don't have one. Oh well. Okay, that works. That's way stronger. Let's see if we can handle it. Oh, crap. It hit me with its tail? Damn. I guess we're gonna try that again. Oh, we gotta repair this. Uh, okay, let's switch it back out with this. Oh, we're still gonna go defensive. With the great sword. What's the offensive move? Cross cut. That's your enemies while spinning in the so slow. Rend, reducing there. Also set to apply additional additional rend. Find no box of damage, no box of damage to stackers. this. Oh, that was too easy. You're too easy. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna fight that alligator. That right there. Real careful I don't get hit. There you are. Oh, crap. What? What? Crap. Okay, maybe it's impossible.
maybe it's impossible. Fair enough. Tread on you guys. Increasing great sword. Blade honing. Base damage is increased by 3% for each great sword buff on you. Hmm. Counter attack inflicts bleeding for 6 seconds for each power level. Steadfast recovery. In the first strike of Steadfast Strike, you are healed for 50% weapon damage. Oh! First strike inflicts two stacks of bleeding for six seconds, which is 5% weapon damage every second. Okay. damage repair or repair kits. Is it? I don't see anything wrong with it. I, mean, I can repair it. That's probably what happens when I die. Here comes some more enemies to try it on. next. Whoa, I missed. Dexterity build or a intelligence build? Oop. Wrong move. Wrong move again.
here it is. I don't think I can beat it. I think it's way too strong. Go from a distance. Oh, oh no, oh no, no. Every time, every time, every time I try. and closer to level 20 and I don't like it. enemies. Okay, I have an idea. What if we take this instead of floors and finish? We respec. Right, we get this and evade. Hold on. Like that? In that order? No. Hold on. The order here matters. Yeah. Okay. Bleed, we'll flurry, and then we'll evade, attack, evade, and then do these. Um, desperation, control breathing, perfectionist, crescendo, swiftness, momentum, so damage, next light or heavy attack of point ability. Uh, let's see. Controlled reading. Help us pull. Oh, I don't want that when I can have this. Some more damage than target has greater percent health. Well, one of my health is full. Okay. Refreshing strikes. Sound any hit. Unearning. Deal 5% more damage targets with rape or bleed. Let's do that. That's all of it. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Let's... Oh my god. Level 28. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. How about you? 27. Oh, I was supposed to... Oh. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to get through here. I don't know if I can get through here from here. Because the mountains are too high. Ah, I'm stuck. Can I? Is there a way? Let me see. Okay. Oh, 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 looks like, what is that? Can I mine it? No, I need 50. This is going well. And a mature tree. 50. Oh, a fairy bush. Have I seen this before? Oh no, I'm getting close to... I have an idea. I'm gonna just go here. Respec. Just keep that. Just don't respec at all. Just don't put any points in. Yeah, sure, why not? Have some experience. Which 
actually pretty fast. Wow. It's like two hits. is how do we get down? on. Rapier. What do I want to focus on? Crescendo. Individual successful light attacks reduce the cooldown of the spell. Yes. Change. Okay, if we go here. I change how the where these are, or are they are they stuck where they are? No, they're stuck where they are. Crap. What? Going the wrong way. I was going the wrong way. Oh crap! Oh, we'll just circle around. I think we have to go through this somehow. Oh, uh, all right. this way. Look, we have an ally. Which way are we going? We need to go around to the cave. Oh, 
we got a warhammer. A shield, sword and shield, interesting. Bait a lot more now. Yeah, that's true. Let's check out this. Can we reach that? No, we can't. Anything in here? Oh, uh, oh no. Are we already that? We're already here. Through this. Woo! That's a lot of damage. for a bit? Okay, now we can fight. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, take care of that for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can I mind this? No, I can't. I need a hundred. A fucking hundred. Alright. Which way are we going? Let's go this way. Let's go up there, I think. Yeah. I swear we've been here before.
you going? the hell is that? Left side, night blade. Oh. Gonna test my build here. Oh, that was pretty easy actually. What do we have here? Ah, there's someone. In that cage? Uh, oh crap. What? Did I miss that lead? That tondo? Crap. Crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we have to start all the way back there again. Okay, we're going back to... This is better. 256, 271. Plus one dexterity, plus eight dexterity, plus four strength. Chris critical chance, though. What about this one? Backstab damage. Interesting. I'm gonna be able to backstab with this? Not really. It's more of like a front-facing kind of build. Our gloves. Changes to not be. In fact, you know, like most of these, let me just unspec them before I hit level 20. Just in case. This and so you also gain four to five. Up the ground and send the shock over four mil radius. That deals one hundred twenty percent weapon damage. Gain eight percent four to five for five six five seconds for each foe. Two hundred percent threat has crit. I make a this might be a little what if I make a, a great sword build that has ability to switch between onslaught and defiance 
but it'd still favor one because one of the three skills would be all these enter defiance stance and then we'd be mostly split so it wouldn't be that i don't know if it'd be that great for like defense right use that for defense we have cross cut. Uh, with this dash forward, just spin in the fine curve, so go for a second like that. Staggering. Set your brace for forward, turn Kelly or post, then pull them back, circle the blade out. This draws them forward a little, so it's 20% on each hit. have a lot of time to try this out so yeah let me let me grab that cross cut first heavy attacks Gain 20% haste when hitting the target with Onslaught Tree ability. Keen posture. After gaining Onslaught stance, your next attack will increase a critical hit chance. Increase space. Well, that's actually pretty good. If we switch between them, then this will be important to have. And Skyward Slash for sure. I just don't know if I want Relentless Rush or this Steadfast Strike. Or this one. Blade honing, base damage increased by for each great sword buff on you. Glory posture. After gaining the fine sense, you will also gain fortify. Push your armor with 20%. Okay, that's important. So the way we can switch between the two, and then this will like improve that. Right? Because switching between the two a lot is what we want to do. What is the cooldown on this? 17.8, 19.7. 19.7, 17.8. That's says the least cooldown, so let's do this. This will be for defending, and then these will be for our switching between the two. It's an idea. It's an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it's an idea. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Oh, that's right, wait. Of mastery, great axe. We don't have any uh, sword and shield. Respect that. Rapier, keep that. Hatchet, respect that. Where's the void gauntlet? Void gauntlet. I wonder if we can use this for like buffing ourselves. Keen confidence. When wall buff, fifty percent health. 10 damage wall above 50 percent mana. Let's do the decay, right? Keen confidence, then oblivion, and then petrifying scream. Okay, so then we'll whip this out, put down uh, oblivion, spread out this orb, maybe use petrifying stance, and then. When we'll go, we'll maybe start with that, so then we're in uh, onslaught, right? And then switch between these, like these two uh, moves. If I could just get the cooldown to be shorter, that'd be great. What? See, now I just switched between. And so I can get the best of, not the best of both worlds, but switching between these two will then, you know, give me a 100% critical hit chance because I keep switching into Onslaught mode, right? I'm not just staying in Onslaught mode. I'm going from Defiance, was it Defiant mode? Defiance stance to Onslaught stance. So I'm going back and forth. Uh, 
Alright, and I'm hoping there's more of those. I'm going to try this white line and critical hit. Oh, see? Then I can get a critical hit. Um, then I'll get a critical comeback. And Tron step by hitting a charged heavy attack. Oh, okay. So I can switch between them a lot better. Blocking for two seconds. Yeah, that's interesting. So then I can either use the, the Ice Gauntlet or the Void Gauntlet as buffs. And I can switch between the two. So I'll keep switching between the two and have like the effects that come with switching between the two, which would be, I go to Great Sword, um, right, Critical Chance, and then being energized once I hit a critical hit, right, regain 5% chance, 5% base health, um, what else we got, Crush the Weak, Critical Hit Chance increased by 10% when attacking foes with an active debuff, uh, right, so Ren is a debuff, right, uh, step and strike after dodging, gain a 10% empower for the next... Okay, well, I don't know if I'm going to be dodging. I'm probably going to be blocking more often than not. Uh, arrow deflection. Enables blocking range attacks with a great sword, but increases stamina damage from blocking by an attack. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm not going to really be dodging. I'm going to be more blocking. When hitting a target with an onslaught tree ability. So we'll just constantly be gaining... Ah, uh, well, no. That's probably not the best one. Increases base damage attack when attacking foes are above 90 health. Unflinching blade. Charged heavy attack have grit and inflict bleeding for 6... Okay, so we can get that and get that. The only problem is we probably won't be able to get both of these. Heal for 5% the, for of the damage from attacks. Attacking within 3 seconds of blocking and attack heals 50%. Uh, or unrelenting onslaught. Hitting foes reduces great sword cooldowns. That'd be nice. Because then I can switch faster more so maybe i should lean more on onslaught even though i have two well i have these two so that would reply that i'm leaning more towards um defiance tagging within three seconds of blocking attack heals for 50 percent but i'd rather have less cooldown so i can switch between them faster enter an attack crit chance is increased by 0.4 percent onslaught stance the counter attack gains an additional 25 oh Okay. Gaining yeah, defiance stance to counterattack heals for so there is there is um this idea that you can use this while in onslaught. What is this through second strike instead of fast strike hits? Second strike. Oh, the pulling. We just cool down of all the great sword abilities between percent. Okay, so we can grab that instead of this. Which, you know, I'd prefer, but Fortify. Roaring Rupture gain Fortify for 5% for each foe well, hit. Roaring Prince 2 debuffs. Intimidating Roar. The shock weapon applies 10% weakened for 10 seconds on foes. If successful hit, becomes an unworkable uh, Adaptive Rupture. In Defiance Stance, the shockwave pulses, pushes force outward. In Onslaught Stance, the shockwave pulls force towards you. Okay. So maybe I should focus on this instead of this. But it has a lower cooldown. I'm not sure. I love this one. Love this rush. Defiance. Okay, adaptive rush. An onslaught stance. The relentless rush applies root to target. It hits. And let's refresh. This is ability cool for when you kill a foe. Right, so these two support using the other tree. Right? These two don't, even though they give really good debuffs. Hmm. All right, these two don't support switching. These two support switching. More rupture and all this, but they have a much higher cooldown. Oh, this also supports the Look, in the defiant sense, gains stun immunity while performing crosscut. This also supports it. So these two support, these two don't. But they also don't support their own stance. Oh no, in defiant stance, the sites also inflicts two stacks of bleeding. Okay, and this doesn't really mention that. 
I'll keep these for now, because they're a lot less cool cooldown. Maybe I'll switch to these in the future when I have more points available, but it'll keep things interesting. And I'll either use an Ice Gauntlet or a Void Gauntlet to, uh, as, like, support. Uh, so let's go the other one this way. Uh, yeah, as supporting, like, buffing me or defending me. Right? In this case, it's buffing me if I use Void. It's defending me if I use, um... If I use the Ice Gauntlet. And then if I need to, I can switch to um, a Rapier for more DPS type of damage. Versus this is more balanced and more of a solo play, I guess. Because I'm really... But then I also have like to have like, a second gear set. Just so that I can switch between light and heavy. Because uh, this light armor does not bode well for um, for uh, you know greatsword attacks because I need to be blocking more often maybe if I change these right now this medium armor Or maybe at least medium armor. Let's try going with the heavy armor for now. Uh, this is heavy, right? What else is heavy? This is medium. Now I'm heavy. I don't know if I want to stay at medium or if I want to go heavy, but I probably shouldn't stay at light. Oh, is this heavy footwear? Okay. I think that's all the heavy stuff I have. I'm running low. Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go back to town real quick. is over here. You can also go talk to Diomo, so. Hello, boar. How much would it suck if someone attacked me while I was disintegrating? And teleporting. Am I still me? Because like, I guess my atoms are realigning, but am I still me? Is the question. <laughs> It's like a ship Theseus thing, you know? Are you in there? Is this Gertie's? Yeah, it's Gertie's. Hey, Gertie. Dio Musa. Hello, friend. I hope this day is treating you with kindness. Would you have time to help me, Thero? Regrettably, the people I was trying to protect have turned into the lost. Oh, I already know. Yeah, I have a journal. May fortune be with you. I'd come to the settlement to find help, but no one had time to listen. It takes a special person to go out of their way to help someone else. Uh, did you find everyone's amulets? Aw, oh, call me special. I did. Here they are. Thank you, friend. You have put my mind at ease. The problems on this island are larger than those I've experienced, and one can't use their hand to force the sun to set. The wise words, they almost said wise words. Well, I'm level 20 now. Okay. It's official. I'm level 20. That's a scary thought to have. It's kind of like when you, you know, graduate college for the first time. You know that kind of feeling? 
We're just like, oh crap. I don't know what to do. Not like I know what crashing college is like. I've been working on chips all my life. But from what I hear from my uh, friends back in the old world. 285. Okay. Plus 6 constitution, plus 4 dexterity. Plus 6 constitution, plus 4 strength. Plus last damage. Receive 4 plus last, last damage. Four, 6 from health, from incoming healing effects. Yeah, I don't really have healing effects. This might help more, but also improve strength, not const not dexterity. Right, if I equip this, then my dexterity goes up, but my strength goes down. And that causes uh, Yeah, so do I want strength or do I want dexterity? Either way helps my um greatsword but uh, this is probably going to be more of a dex build than anything else. So maybe it's better to keep this. Hmm. So either way, I should probably repair it then. Let's go, let's go to storage. No, I don't have attribute points. Let's not, let's not worry about that right now. It's probably going to spend it on dexterity or intelligence, one of the two. Where's the shed? Shed! Going for a heavy build. It's like better though because even though it offers less armor, it does give me dexterity. So probably scrap that one. So we have any bonuses? Let's see. Medium footwear. Any any heavy footwear? This is heavy footwear. And this is better. Shadow Wall boots are better. But not because of constitution, which is helpful in all regards. Physical aversion. Received 20% less damage from range physical. Oh, okay. Well, actually, that would probably help better. Studded leather shoes. I'm going to scrap that. It's not that special. Get rid of light footwear. I love wearing this thing. But. Oh, that's ten, plus 10 focus. Interesting. Attach a gem to add its effect. Do I have any gems? What are gems? I don't think I have any gems. But this gives me plus 9 dexterity. Focus is not really helpful for me, you know? That's not true. If I use void, it's helpful, but. It's hard to beat this look, you know. I, I love this. I love this. It focuses on the stash, you know. It's great. All right, we preferably want heavy pants. This is medium. Light. I have one of these, don't I? Yeah. Forsaken leather coat of the pirate. This is 208. This is 266. Plus 9 intelligence. Plus 2 intelligence. Uh, I feel like we can get rid of this. And then just keep that one. Protective amulet. Let's put that back for now. And 
what do we have? We have light gloves. We need heavier gloves. Plus six strength, plus four dexterity. Okay. What's up, these? This is plus nine dexterity. Accelerated resolve. After triggering Defender's Resolve, increase. What's Defender's Resolve? Increase movement speed by. What's Defender's Resolve? I don't know what that is. Okay, that'll stay there. Because I don't think that's a skill I have. Is that like a sh shield skill? Where's Defender's Resolve? Yeah, this is Defender's, so I imagine Defender's Resolve is something over here. Oh yeah, Defender's Resolve. Okay, so that's mainly meant for shields. We also have this. It adds intelligence though, so it actually increases the damage that it does. Even though it has less void damage, it increases the damage in general. Wet dog smell <laughs> great smells great compared to whip this deceased pirate. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Put that and we could probably scrap that. Right, um, forceful constitution. This one gives plus four strength, it has higher damage, but even though it has less splash damage, keen critical chance backstab. Uh, okay, yeah, let's get it. Let's just put that on. We could save that. Uh, keep the rapier. Probably repair it too. Eh, we're not using it yet. Put this back. Scrap this. Vulnerable of the soldier. Which one of these is better? We'll keep that one. This is a cool enough by 2% on kill. I will keep this one. We can scrap this one. Okay. This is a life staff. This is a life staff. We don't need two. Let's grab the two. Patch of the soldier. 275, 272. Let's grab that. Okay. So these are our equipments. We'll probably put all this in there. Uh oh. I'm running out of uh, space. Like a lot of space. Okay, well, maybe if you craft stuff, it'll kind of like fix itself. I don't want to waste my dyes. I already have I'm already wasting my dyes on a bunch of things. Um, just to get everything more aligned with being red match the, the top, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what we can make. Forge. Okay, we can't make much. And all of these are not as good as what I have. Unfortunately. Unlearned. What does that mean? New skill required. I need to improve my skills. Okay. I mean, I guess I can crop wood long swords to improve my skills. <laughs> I don't know how much. Um... <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Sapling brand. I don't have enough of whatever it is. I need iron ingots. Okay. Let's figure out. Okay, iron ingots. Stone cutting table. Stone block. I don't know what I need. Uh, ooh, I can make a cut flawed sapphire. I don't know what I can use that for, but I can make it. Oh, 
Oh, I, I could probably use the gems in, like, equipment, right? I remember that. Master of Material Converter. What the hell is that? Let's go smelt some iron. Charcoal. What are we need charcoal for? Well, we, can, we can make some iron from the iron ore. Let's see. Ooh, level 12. Okay. Probably make some silver from our silver ore. Didn't know we had that much silver ore. Okay, level 20. Maybe charcoal. Make one charcoal, we got a bonus, I think. I don't know what we're gonna use charcoal for. Crack this recipe in your journal. Silver ingot, steel ingot, iron ingot. I already have those on. Okay, now that I have iron, I can make stuff. I've already made. I've not. Have I made this? I have made that. I've not made this, so let's make one of these. Plus, like constitution plus his strength. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna salvage that stuff. So. Uh. I just wanted to make it so to get the bonus. For instance, I can't make a giant great axe because I need rage hide. Rage hide, huh? Occasionally one finds an animal that seems to exude the anger and disdain from humanity. Okay. Iron great sword. I also need rage hide. Tattered wood spear. I also need rage hide. Iron hatchet. Just one rage hide. This also needs a rage hide though. Let's make an iron hatchet. For the experience. Oh, we get engineering experience. Interesting. That's different than, I guess, smelting experience. Okay, we need leather. Refined wood. Okay. Or oh, standing increased. That means that we can increase our storage. Yes, we're running low on storage. Okay. Stone opening table. What else is there that we can... What's over here? Wood shop. Okay. Timber. I think we need timber or petrified wood. Two petrified woods. Oh wow, it takes a lot to make a petrified wood. Timber. What do we need timber for? Okay. But now I have a petrified wood, so I think you can make like an axe. Alright, one of these needed it. These petrified wood or timber. Either one. Timber is way easier to make. But yeah, we can use the petrified wood. We just need also coarse leather. Is there like a tannery? Stone cutting table, wood shop, workshop. Workshop. So many systems. Okay. Can I make survival tools? Alright, I have already made these. Still can't make those because I have to get fibers. Okay. And coarse leather. Bloom, outfitting station, tannery. There we go. Cane okay, repository. So we gotta go on the other side. Anything because I don't have fibers. I need 
which means I probably can't make any outfits. Oh, I can make uh, trinkets. I have a hook for an earring. So for setting. So jewelry. I'll just make one of each. leather. We need a ton of these. Rage hide. Oh, I can make rage hide. Okay, let's craft one rage hide for now. I have one rage hide. I need two rage hides. That's right. Options are all together. I don't know why I have to like run back and forth. Let's make two. Uh, six. Rage high takes like 50 to 60. Let's make two of these. Okay. Another working level 20. Rugged leather. It's arcane. Arcane something. In repository. Here we go. What can we make here? Oh, we can make one of these. And then one of these. We haven't made one of these yet. We can make one of those. Yeah, another one of those. We have mushroom fins. And we can use for anything else that I know, so. Ooh, common health potion. I mean, oh, because I probably leveled up, and so now I know these things. Okay. I'll craft one of these. Crafting. Uh, I have not crafted one of these. No, I have. Okay. I haven't crossed one of these. I have more of these, but I need common alchers to get common alchers. I need so let's just make four common alchers, and I can come down here and make six uh, common health potions. How much is that? Level four. Okay. I think I've learned new stuff. Spine cap. Okay. Alright. Can a level four. Now we can go back here. Craft some. Iron hatchet. Have we made an iron hatchet? No, we can make a iron wrap shield though. And then stop it. Uh, Zapping's Fury. Let's make these. We make a bunch of wooden shields. How much would that do? We just make 84 wooden shields. How much experience does this gain? Let's try it. <laughs> Wait, did it get not give me any experience? Oh no, it didn't give me any experience. It's just because it's so easy to make. Wow, okay. Dang. 
did not give me any experience with weaponsmithing. Really? It didn't? Let me just grab one just to make sure. Maybe it was just because I... No, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't give you any... That sucks. I mean, I guess because then we can make a bunch of it. Huh. Okay. So I need for these. I need timber. Timber and coarse leather. Timber. Can I make it here? Can I make it here? No. About here. Timber. Let's get a bunch of timber. Let's get all the timber. And that got me to winter. Okay. Let me go here make anything with the number we got? We can't. Okay. Alright, musket. Salvage that. We have not made any arrows, so let's make an arrow. Fantastic. Now let's see. We need linen. But this we need. Iron musket, we need coarse leather. So we should make a bunch of coarse leather. To do that, we have to go through the tannery. And here's the tannery. Let's make all the coarse leather. Got to 50! Oh, we can make rugged leather. Let's make one of them. I don't know if this is gonna come in handy. Yet. All right, we got the 50. That's pretty high, right? That's like the highest uh, of the trade skills I have now. Leather working. Tracking skinning is right next up to there. Okay. Now we have a bunch of coarse leather that we can use. Diego. Really? I still can't make anything? I thought we needed coarse leather. We do, but we also need iron. Ah, I'm out of iron, huh? I think so. It's hard to find iron, if I'm being honest. It's hard to find any metals. Got a lot of oil, though. I don't know how I can use it, but I got a lot of oil. Yeah, I'm missing iron is what I'm missing. Even though I have a ton of uh, coarse leather, I'm still missing iron. That's unfortunate. Oh, hopefully this freed up some space though. Let's put all of these in there. Yeah, it did free up some space. Jewelry crafting. How do I craft jewelry? Is that where do I go to craft jewelry? Stone cutting table. Oh, maybe the stone cutting table. Maybe? Let's find out. Okay, none of these, okay, let's cut stone, but I want to be able to stone, stone block. Stone used for anything? Can I just make a bunch of stone blocks? What happens if I make a stone block? I'm at seven. Does it improve my... It does. Okay, so then if I go, I just make 200, 207 of those. That'll get me to level 41. Oh, close to 50. Okay. Where do I make 
Quirk shop, craft range of members, tools, house furnishing, instruments. Instruments. Ooh. Refined wood, smelter, refined metal, storage shed, stone cutting table, outfit, loom. Craft jewelry at outfit station. Oh, okay. So I have to go to the outfit station for this. Got it. That would be right here. Right? Going the right way? Yeah. I want that house. There's like a little little bridge next to it. It's cute. Okay, here I am. I can make a flawed sapphire amulet. Okay, great. Let's make one. I'm not gonna stop it. Team of crap. Let's see what else we can make. Oh, nothing else. We don't have any gems, so. And if we see this. Okay, so we have a common sapphire, um, uncommon sapphire amulet. It gives plus four strength, plus two constitution. Arcane ward, arcane damage absorption. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna. Do I really want. Uh, plus four strength, plus two constitution. What happens if I scrap it? Chance to acquire jewelry scraps, okay. Got a silver ingot and two repair parts. Alright. Put the rest in storage. Ah. Here we are. Okay. Put all that in. Good. It'd be nice to cook too. I don't see any cooking stations nearby. cook without all of these ingredients. If I take all these cooking ingredients and I go set up camp, can I cook? I'll try that. Oh, before I do that, before I forget, let's go grab some crown projects. Yeah, I'm probably going to abandon these two. I don't know how to do those yet. Let's see what other town projects there are, and then we can go try cooking. There's the board. Ooh, okay. Double up on those. I forget what the rabbits are, though. Fish with requirement, deliver three large fish. Search for one fasteners at Hiroff Peak. Return here for delivery. Okay. One fasteners at Hiroff Peak. Ten common mana potions. I can try. Do I have ten common mana potions? How many mana potions do I have? I have ten common mana potions. That's actually perfect. Great. Bar 15 wood louse bait. I might have those. I might have those. Hold on. Let me go to a storage shed. So I'm not fishing. I don't know how to fish. I'm not a fisher. But I have fishing supplies. So there's a shed. Okay. Fishing supplies. Oh, I only have 13. I think I need, what, 15? 15. Okay, well. I'll go gather. Let's, let me just try cooking. Let me see if I can cook. I'll go set up a camp. I don't see any cooking setups here. I have to go out here. set up a camp over here. First I need green wood, so let's go grab the green wood. 
Maybe get some louse, maybe, perhaps? And also some flint. This is flint? No, it's a boulder. Flints around here? There's gotta be flints around here. Okay. Wait, actually, let me kill you for your hide. Oh, this is those no damage. Okay, how about this? There we go. Yeah, I need your hide. I also need stone. Stone comes in handy for crafting. Um, was it stone slabs? Young tree. So deforest this entire area. Still haven't found flint. Is that flint? Yes, it is flint. More flint. Also this boulder. Yeah. Let's go. Where was that camp? Up here somewhere. Oh, let's kill you first. And skin you. If I can just figure out how to skin you. There we go. Snaggle to wolf. You need a lot of hide. And louse, so I need to gather from bushes. Move back to complete? Wait, move back to complete what? Oh, did someone craft it for me? I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, adventuring friend. Okay, craft. Thank you for making it for me. Wait, I can't make food? Why not? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'll make some energizing... Light rations. Oh, actually, let's make some light rat. This only gives me what? It's mana regen? I'd rather have health right now, so let's make these. Ooh, I can use poultry to make it. Let's do that. That upgrade my cooking level 5. Okay. Can you use mushrooms as light ration? Let's do it. 39 cooking. I got me to level 6. Use eggs! This is great. So you know I can actually start cooking some. Other things. Level nine. Unlock anything else? Here, one raw food. Let's make some more. All right, twelve. Milk. I keep making it until I can unlock more. Uh, until I learn how to make more other foods. More of other foods. Okay. Uh, that's that's it. We're out. We're out. It's an engineering skill. Can I make one of these? What happens? If I make one of these. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't help. It doesn't up my engineering skills, unfortunately. Oh well. We got cooking to level 17. Still haven't unlocked. Oh, wait, yeah, we have. And how can I make those? I don't see them here. Wait, I can make this? Oh, I need to upgrade my camp. How the hell do I do that? 
How do I upgrade my camp? More options. Uh, there's like something about leveling awards. I have a ring slot? Okay. Azov staff. I want to forge a staff quest. I'm not sure what that means. Camp. Story. Oh, I have to complete a story mission. And I'm not there yet. So. But one day. And that'll unlock this ring. Oh, I already have this ring slot unlocked, but I don't have any rings. Region Satchel. I wonder if we can make more of these. But where do I make more of these? Okay. Well. Might as well rest before we head out to. Before we head out for battle. That's what's coming up. Finally, you can uh, use our build. Let's see if it works on those zombie pirates.